I'm Alessio Cornia. I am uh, a lecturer uh, of the Master uh, uh, in Political Communication and uh, um, I'm presenting today uh, the program on behalf of Kevin Rachter. Kevin is uh, the chair of this uh, program. I was, I'm the, the former chair, uh, but Kevin Rachter uh, uh, couldn't be with us today, so I'm presenting uh, uh, the program on his behalf. If you have questions, uh, please uh, uh, use uh, the chat uh, function and uh, I will try to provide uh, my answer and if uh, I'm not able to uh, answer because maybe I cannot know some of the details as I'm not uh, uh, the chair anymore, uh, you can email directly uh, Kevin Rafter. The email is, uh, uh, you can find the email in, uh, uh, in, uh, uh, in the chat. So, let me... Uh, before talking about the Master uh, in Political Communication, uh, let me uh, briefly introduce uh, uh, the School of Communication at DCU, uh, which is uh, where the Master is based uh, and is also where I'm proud of uh, uh, working at. So the school is uh, an internationally focused center for excellence in teaching and research in the areas of uh, media, communications and uh, journalism. Our school is ranked uh, in the top uh, 100 150 universities uh, worldwide for communications uh, and uh, media studies, as you can see in the slide. Additionally, let me also stress that uh, DCU uh, scores has the 23rd in the world and first in Ireland for our actual rate of uh, graduates employed uh, within 12 months uh, of course uh, completion. So our master programs are particularly effective uh, in in facilitating finding uh, uh, good jobs or relevant for what our students, students study. So the staff is composed of uh, uh, great scholars and practitioners uh, focusing on media studies, sociological studies, journalism and the creative arts. Uh, we are, uh, uh, we all have uh, a strong uh, international uh, vocation. Take my case uh, uh, as an example. I arrived at DCU in uh, 2018 after after three years, uh, I spent uh, as a research fellow at the University of Oxford. I was previously working at uh, the University of Perugia in Italy, but this was just uh, an example. Many other members of uh, uh, the School of Communications at DCU uh, came from uh, internationally uh, well-established uh, university or have a previous uh, a previous experience in uh, journalism and uh, other creative sectors and they all worked in well reputed uh, international organizations and institutions. At the moment we have more than 1000 students uh, across uh, our postgraduate and undergraduate uh, uh, courses. Let me change the slide. Okay, now I'm going to uh, provide some details uh, on the Master in uh, Political uh, Communication. After that, there will be another and different section where I will talk about uh, another program, the program I'm chairing, which is the program in Social Media Communications. But now I'm talking about the Master in uh, Political Communication. So the program uh, general aim is to provide students with uh, key concepts and key skills that will allow allow them to better understand and to better navigate the changing relationship between media, politics and the public. Our media environment, as you know very well, is changing very rapidly. Uh, it's becoming increasingly digital, participatory, uh, and uh, uh, our media environment is uh, uh, becoming increasingly marked by a central role of uh, social media platforms. We all know that uh, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok are uh, more and more relevant uh, in how people uh, consume uh, media content and how people get uh, information. So all these changes clearly affect, uh, affect how politics is communicated uh, to citizens and how citizens engage with uh, politics as well as uh, it affects how politics is represented and performed in uh, uh, the media. So this is uh, the right program for students uh, uh, who want to understand how the relationship between uh, uh, media, politics and the 
public is changing uh, in current uh, in the in the current uh, uh, time and how this has an, has an impact on the quality of our democratic process and on the distribution of power within our society you should apply for this program if you are interested in topics like the media coverage of politics the role of spins fake news agenda setting public relations political advertising and digital uh, media uh, let me also point out that uh, our master, the master in political communication, prepares students for a range of uh, careers uh, in the worlds of politics and public relations, as well as uh, uh, in government, national and multinational companies uh, and uh, no profit uh, uh, organizations. Graduates of uh, uh, the program have uh, uh, political, policy and media advisory roles uh, in all the main political parties in Ireland and in the European Parliament as well, and also work as uh, senior officials in many government departments. They are all pursuing, uh, pursuing successful careers in leading public uh, relation companies uh, uh, across, uh, uh, not all of them, but some of them are pursuing careers in uh, public relation companies uh, and uh, uh, across the non not for profit and corporate sectors. Our students have uh, access to uh, uh, to have also access to um, centers that are based at the School of Communication, uh, which are particularly active in uh, research, like, for example, the FUJO, the Institute for uh, Future Media, Democracy and Society, and the Interdisciplinary uh, Digital Research Group. So these are uh, research centers that are based at our school, and they uh, engage in active research, and uh, students can avail from these uh, the competencies of uh, our uh, researchers. Let me also point out that uh, our program is both theoretical and practical. The theoretical concepts uh, uh, we focus on during our uh, uh, studies enable our students to interpret and better understand contemporary media and, politically, uh, and political developments. But uh, we also help our students to develop uh, the practical skills that are needed to design and to manage political and social uh, campaigns. So, we have theory, but students also deal with hands-on research uh, for their classes and for their uh, dissertation. Uh, let me also point out that we have both uh, a full-time and a part-time uh, program. So in terms uh, uh, of our full-time programs, uh, there are basically, uh, generally there are in between uh, six and nine hours uh, a week of class time, while for uh, uh, the uh, part-time programs, we have uh, in between two and five hours a week of class time and generally classes for everyone so for both the part-time and full-time students are from Monday uh, to Thursday uh, and from 4 p.m. to 8 uh, p.m. so to enable uh, to, to allow our part-time students to uh, follow uh, our classes while also working. So, uh, and then of course, in addition to the class time that I have mentioned, uh, there is uh, a substantial amount of uh, independent study uh, time. I need to be a little bit quicker because I'm aware timing, time is passing by. So uh, our students, uh, uh, our, pro our program is also uh, quite international uh, student-wise. We have a mix of students coming from Ireland, many European countries, the US, China, India, and many other uh, countries worldwide. And uh, our students are also quite diverse in terms of uh, age. Our student course include, uh, uh, for example, uh, um, communications and PR professionals, activists, techies, uh, journalists, uh, uh, NGOs, staff, uh, and government employees, in addition to students that have uh, just completed uh, their uh, undergraduate studies. As mentioned, our graduates 
end up uh, holding senior positions in the worlds of politics and public relations, as well as uh, in government, business corporations and NGOs. Examples of uh, positions held by our former uh, graduates include, as you can see in the slide, uh, the role of analyst at LinkedIn, director of uh, advocacy at Focus Ireland, external communications for the Bank of Ireland, director of news at Storyful, and all the other uh, uh, roles that you can see listed in this uh, slide. So, uh, you uh, will study modules like uh, uh, Political Communication 1, Concepts and Issue, which is the first one you can see listed in the slide. This module explores the interplay between uh, politicians, uh, news media, uh, and the public, and introduces students to some of the key theories uh, and debates in the field of uh, political communication. Key topics addressed by this module include the theories like media facts, agenda setting, and media framing, as well as recent and relevant debates addressing, for example, how social media relates to the spread of fake news or how they relate, uh, they relate to the rise of populism. So very contemporary uh, debate addressed from an academic perspective that draws from uh, uh, current empirical research. Then we have political communication too, campaigns and strategies, which uh, uh, is uh, a module that uh, is uh, uh, has a more practical nature and focuses on the communication strategies uh, adopted to influence uh, uh, media coverage and uh, uh, public uh, opinion. We have then uh, media and politics in Ireland, the third module listed in the slide, which focuses on how national and media institutions report uh, uh, on uh, uh, and shape political discourse in uh, contemporary Ireland. Then we have my own module, uh, uh, the, the one that I teach uh, across different programs, uh, which is uh, social media journalism and democracy. I will tell you something more about this module in the next, uh, in the following presentation. Uh, then we have a new module, information manipulation and democracy, uh, uh, which will be introduced from September on and uh, which addresses uh, uh, current concerns related to practice practices like disinformation campaigns, information manipulation, and computational uh, propaganda. We have uh, uh, two uh, research uh, methods uh, modules, one delivered in semester one that uh, address uh, uh, the basic uh, uh, um, underpinnings of uh, conducting empirical research and the second one uh, 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 in semester two that focuses on individual research methods like uh, conducting interviews, uh, focus group uh, or content analysis or running a survey, for example. Uh, please note that as part of the changes that we have introduced from next year on, the program will also include a guaranteed work place uh, to all students. Uh, Part-time students uh, in employment may opt for a reflective research project instead if they don't want to uh, conduct a work place placement elsewhere. Uh, we then have a range of uh, optional modules that you can see listed in the final part in, in the, at the bottom of the slide. Uh, um, let me change the slide. So, uh, our structure. Uh, basically, our students have to complete uh, 60 credits in uh, course modules. Uh, uh, and this has to be done in one year uh, for full-time students. So, from September uh, 2023 to the end of uh, August 2024. And in two years uh, for part-time students. So, it's the same program, but split uh, across two different years. Uh, essays or projects are due at the end of each module generally, and additionally, uh, we have, uh, students have to complete a research thesis of approximately uh, 20,000 words, uh, which is worth 25 credits at the end of uh, their uh, uh, 
path with us. Uh, and the work placement is uh, worth uh, five uh, credits. In terms of our entry uh, requirements, uh, uh, we accept students with uh, a degree at the level of uh, an Irish or UK honors undergraduate degree, so uh, age 2.2 or above. Uh, applicants with uh, related professional experience are also uh, considered. Uh, and applicants are asked to provide their CV and uh, a personal uh, uh, statement. International candidates who are not uh, native speaker, native English speakers uh, should provide evidence of uh, their uh, competency in uh, uh, the English uh, uh, language. The last slide. How to apply? You can find uh, the codes for our program in the slides. There are, there are different codes for the part-time and the full-time programs, and uh, more information is uh, available in the online prospectus, which is hosted on the DCU uh, website. So, thank you very much.